Well, you see it. Thank you, Tom, very much. Thank you for being out here with us. We appreciate it. Tom Peterson join us again tonight out at the sports arena. Down at ringside, it's kind of hard to see. This is, let's listen to Don Owen. More or less forced on us this evening. So I'll introduce the following participants. Now this is no time limit, no disqualification. Everything goes and the man that gets pinned loses. Introducing in this corner, 249 pounds from Las Vegas, Playboy Buddy Rose. His opponent in this corner, 250 pounds from Tennessee, Dr. J. Schultz. And down at ringside. And Rip Oliver and Hacksaw Sawyer will be handcuffed together so that they can't get in the ring and interfere. So everything goes. Oliver and Hacksaw are handcuffed around the ring post. Sandy Barr is the referee. The referee's only job, as I understand it, will be counting. And Sandy Barr has about a two-foot length of chain to help him control matters in there. And the chain goes around. The chain going around the door, the padlock on it. Hacksaw and Oliver and director Larry Neat. We're going to have to keep a camera eye as best we can down on there. This is, if I don't, Larry, do you remember us ever doing a cage match before on television? Well, Larry doesn't remember it. He's been around for all this time. I think he was a floor director. Well, shortly after we started doing wrestling, he joined the organization. And we uh, only hope that it uh, shows up fairly well. We heard that it quality wasn't too good, but it, it's looking pretty good to me. Close ups, a little fuzzy. The doctor may be telling Rose what he intends to do to him. Remember, if Buddy Rose gets beat, in fact, if Buddy Rose does not win, he said forever and ever and ever. He would wrestle no more. And Oliver down at ringside handcuff to the near left turnbuckle, to the near left uh, ring post. And Buddy starts out. Well, it's a full moon over the sports arena. Rose wanted to get out. You heard him on his interview talking about wrestling. He flies back about every other week to New York and tapes some studio shows. at ringside. Meanwhile, Rose at his head slammed into the screen. What is that called? Tornado fence? Hurricane fence? Something like that. Cyclone. I knew it was a storm. Cyclone fencing 10 feet high. Heavy gauge steel. In the cage. If we've done a cage match on television before, I don't remember it. And we're now into our third decade of announcing this television. We started in the 60s, throughout the 70s, now we're into the 80s. Dr. D from Tennessee. 
blood has started to flow. And Sandy Barr is yelling at Dr. D. I understood it to be anything goes. Quite possibly it's supposed to be anything goes inside the ring ropes. We've been told no disqualification. We know no time limit. So we'll hope that it ends before we're through. Or we may have the longest wrestling show time-wise on record. Because I am told that we will probably stay with it if it doesn't end before our showtime ends. We were instructed years ago never to leave a match until it was over. Elbow, or rather, uh, forearm to the top of the head. Rose is bleeding. Dr. D, one, two, and he kicks out of it. Dr. D starting off with the upper hand. Low blow, but remember there's no disqualification. Low blow struck by Buddy Rose, but there's no DQ. Remember down at ringside, Rip Oliver and Hack Sawyer. Started this as early as possible uh, after just a couple of preliminaries. Dr. D taken hard into the cyclone fence. Rose already has a cut opened on him. These are usually bloody affairs. We will warn you that failed to do so before. If you don't like blood, if you don't like violence, this is not the kind of a match to watch. That's why these are nearly always held on Tuesday when there is no television. Dr. D, groggy, but catches goes to the midsection. And I do believe that there's blood now coming from the head of Dr. D. One fall, no time limit. You see in television wrestling history, as far as I can remember. Looking back at the crow's nest, yelling, look at that, Bonova. Dr. D's bleeding, he's almost gone. Rose covers him, hooks the outside leg, almost. Oliver's yelling at Barr about counting faster. Saying that was a slow counter, Dr. D would have been counted out. One, two, and no. Yes. to the midsection. Rose doubled up. And they are ripping at each other. Dr. D comes roaring back. Covers him with a body press. 
Out of two, if Rose could speak, he'll never wrestle her again. We've got it on tape. He said never. No 90-day stipulation this time. A low blow, but there's no disqualification. Still a crowd at the Portland Sports Arena. Frank Bonham are calling the action for you on Portland Wrestling. Doc Goody seeming to be getting the better of the Playboy right now. Off of the top turnbuckle. Dr. D. Urged on by the crowd. Rose trying to get out of the way. Dr. D saw him move and landed on his feet and belted him. Rose between the rope and the cage. Buddy Rose. Now the doctor with a kick thrown in the direction of Rip Oliver. Doctor has not got the pin. Now the doctor talking to Barr about one, two, three. Buddy Rose is up on the top. And something, something has been thrown in the face. Oliver threw something in the face of Hack Sawyer and handed openly handed brass knuckles. Well, you saw it on the screen. Buddy Rose wins it, and oddly enough, there's a lot of people cheering. Well, there's a lot more people coming up alongside the ring. We ask you always to remain in your seat. Well, you saw it. There's no use pretending you didn't. The brass knuckles handed by Oliver up to Rose after he threw something. In the face of Axe Sawyer, Buddy Rose wins another one. No matter what else you got to say. Remember, looking at tape doesn't make any difference anymore than it would to a football referee or a baseball referee. Buddy Rose getting something it appeared to be brass knuckles. And here, wait a minute, Oliver's loose from Hacksaw. Hacksaw is still chained. Oliver. Oliver got his handcuff off and handcuffed Hack Sawyer to the turnbuckle. Now they are in double teaming. Sandy Barr is outside. Gets Hacksaw, Sawyer loose. Watch out, Hacksaw is on the scene. Going wild. Hack Sawyer going wild. Oliver and Rose have their heads put together again. Hack Saw Sawyer on a rampage gets caught from behind by Oliver. The match is over, but as you can tell, the fight isn't. And Buddy Rose pulled out. Dr. D has got. Dr. D has got the brass knuckles. Whatever it was, Dr. D got a hold of it. Sandy Barr now saying, where did you get a hold of those? Sandy 
Andy Moore now, I believe. I don't know if he's accusing Dr. D of taking those in the ring with him or not, but he wants them. It's a homemade pair of what's known as brass knuckles. And Sandy Barr, the referee, confused as to where they came from. And you saw it on your screen, they came from Oliver. Oliver and Dr. D talking. Dr. D thanking Hacksaw for coming in and helping him. Dr. D thanks the hacker for coming in and helping. We'll be right back. We're going to pause for words from Marv Tonkin Ford. <laughs> 